the best laid plans often go awry. That's how the old saying goes. But most experts agree you're better off with a plan, especially whenever it comes to your life. Motivational speaker and author Scott Wimberly is here to talk with us about having a plan for your life. Scott, thanks much for being with us today. Oh, thank you. Happy Mardi Gras. Oh, same to you. Yeah. <clears throat> well, let's talk a little bit about life and, and how we develop a plan for it. Well, you, you, you've got to have a plan uh, if you're going to get anywhere with your life. And I like to say a, a vision mm -hmm. uh, for your life because most people today, uh, if, if you were to ask them where are you going in your life or where are you, gonna, where are you planning on going with your life, they they can't give you any answer, and you know they say only three percent of the country today actually even has written goals, and and we're talking about even further than goals. And as we were talking earlier, I like to say that goals are like the milepost mm -hmm. toward your your destination or your destiny. And uh, so what you got to have is a plan as to what you want to do with your life, and then in that plan you can you can set goals as you go along. Gotcha. And, and when we're uh, developing our goals, mm -hmm. what kind of goals do, do we want to have? Are these financial goals? Are these relationship goals? Are these spiritual goals? Like, do we want to say, I want to be married and a homeowner in 10 years? Or, or, or how does that work? Well, you, you can categorize each mm -hmm. into part of your life. And usually there's anywhere from five to six different categories according to you know, what you're doing in your life and at what point in your life you are. If you're still in high school or college uh, days or if you're you know, on out and uh, married and with kids, or maybe uh, some people think that uh, I'm married with kids, I'm in a job, I got a mortgage, I got this, I, it's too late for me. Well, it's never too late. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you can have different categories, relationship goals, uh, financial goals, uh, spiritual goals, career goals, uh, and then they all become under the umbrella of your purpose. Because everything, you want everything to be um, overlapping to a certain point. Kind of like the, I like to uh, use the uh, reference of the, uh, the Olympic rings, mm -hmm. they all tie in together, and all your areas tie in <clears> together <throat> under the umbrella of the Olympics. Gotcha. Um, so you have your purpose or your destiny, and then in that you have what you do, you know, your career, and then your home and your finances and, and the spiritual and all these other things. And when you can connect all those things together, that's when you know, I like to say, you're in your zone. You uh -huh. know? Uh, it's, uh, life isn't really easy, but it's easier. You, you're kind of living in the land of earth. And you got a plan, so you feel like you're definitely making headway. You're making headway. Well, you know you can see your progress, mm -hmm. just like the goals, milepost. You know, I know I'm 40 miles away or I'm 30 miles away. And, and in life, it's not that uh, precise, like in a game where you have quarters or halves or innings uh, of that nature. Uh, but, but life is can be treated in some way like a game uh, where you, you divide it up into sections and, or halves or whatever and have your goals and, and where you want to be, but you still know your, your ultimate destination, your ultimate outcome is to outscore your opponent. In life, you know, of course, your opponent wants to be yourself. You won't right. always compare yourself to your own ability. But if you're going to really match your, uh, and reach your purpose or your destiny, you definitely have to have a plan. And if you have a plan, get it on paper. That way you're more of accountable. And give it to your spouse or your children or whoever you're accountable to uh, to hold you to that. And you can have variations. You know, you know, they say as you go into a game, you have your game plan. Well, after about two or three minutes, the game plan is scrapped, and you just kind of go on, on what you have. But at least you had a plan going into it, and you can adapt, and you're more flexible when you have a plan. Absolutely. Great stuff. Thank Good you. to see you again. Uh, you too. We'll see you, you in too. a couple of weeks. That's right. You can find out more about Scott, his books, and following the roadmap to your destiny online at scottwimberly.com.